Yo guys and welcome back to the channel, sit back relax and enjoy as we play Persona 5 Royal and picked up where we have left off. Hope you guys enjoy this gameplay, without a doubt, I'll see you on the next one. Okay. Make sure you close up. Just hear me out. I've decided what I want to do with Shido after going into his palace. We can't let him run free. If there's a heart we gotta steal, it's definitely gotta be his. Yeah. Man, you knew this whole time, huh? I want to avenge you. That's a no-brainer. But that's not it. If we let him run the country, the weak will be totally effed. Isn't it our duty to protect them? I told you that heroes who lurk in the shadows are boring? Well, forget what I said. Those heroes are way cooler. <clears throat> hey, once we change Shido's heart... Uh, no, never mind. Uh, just forget it. Let's do it. Let's steal that bastard Shido's heart. I'll do everything I can to make it happen. Thanks for listening to me. See ya. Hey!
Okay, quiet down. Hey, are you sure it's okay for him to be down here working right now? I mean, wouldn't it be bad if a Shujin student walked in and saw him? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Welcome! <gasps> what did I just say? Nah, still fine. Senpai? You... Same to you... Wait! That's not my point! Well, are you pleased? I'm the one who set this up. A little surprise from me to you. I asked Futaba to do me a favor. And I asked Ryuji to pass the message along to Kasumi. I knew you'd be wiped out for a while, so I made sure to give you time to recover first. Ah, oh, thank goodness! I'm just so happy! No one cares about my scheme! Well, it looks like you know what's been going on with him. Take a seat, why don't you? No reason to stand around. I'm going out for a bit to grab some groceries. I'll let you all get caught up with each other. So you're... Yoshizawa-san, right? Well, what's up? It's a pleasure meeting you. Yes, nice to meet you as well, Sakura-san. Could you at least figure out whether to be polite or casual? Sh shut up! Don't you underestimate my people anxiety! Mona tells me that you helped him out in that palace a while back. We are awfully grateful for that. Oh no, it was my pleasure. He's usually the one who helps me out. Not only that, I promised to repay his kindness to me, no matter what. What a refined response. Are we really around the same age? You know, there's something I've wanted to ask you, Yoshizawa. Why were you in that palace in the first place? That's... uh... I was wondering that too. Of course, I'm extra grateful that you saved our leader, but if our plan had somehow leaked, then we need to change our tactics from here on out. It all started about a week ago, when we had lunch together on the roof of the school. Oh, but, but that day's when... I got the feeling that something big was going to take place that day, so... I'm so sorry. I was actually following you the entire time. Wait, we were tailed there? We definitely had no idea about that. It's like night and day compared to when Makoto was following us. I've been considering for a while now. Perhaps I should be fighting alongside you if I have special powers like your senpai. I wondered if an outsider like myself should even get involved. But I couldn't just stand back and do nothing. nothing compared to how much you've done for me in the past. Hmm. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not done here yet, are you? Then perhaps I ought to lend you a hand. Well, we could definitely use the additional firepower, but... Senpai? Well, you say that, but... Honestly, we have no idea what risks you would face. Our enemy this time is more dangerous than anyone else so far. Also, we pretty much brought this entire mess down upon ourselves, so... This is on us. We're delighted by the offer, but... We really can't drag you into this any further. Moreover, you have something to do yourself, right? <laughs> I believe I'd be acting selfishly if I were to press any further. Very well. I understand your reasoning. If that's the situation, then I'll wait for you to return. But you have to promise me this. You'll come back safe no matter what. I don't ever want to feel as horrible as I did when I thought you... I really do believe you. It's time I get going. I've got practice today, as usual. Well, be seeing you.
Okay. Okay, sounds good. That's what your shoes do, I get. Mm, that one don't break it, okay? That's what your shoes how's that? Mm, that one you better not use it to pull a prank. That's what you're choosing? Do you like it? Mm, that one? Don't break it, okay? That's what you're choosing? How's that? Alright. You should be grateful. Uh, come again. It appears everyone is here. Come on, let's go.
Come on, let's go. It's time to work. How was that? Did I sound cool? Do you need something? You certainly seem com- Time for some re- You wish to perform an execution fusion. Not terrible, but not impressive. You can't handle this. Will this truly help you? Terrible, but not impressive. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. It will receive extraordinary power. Girls, let us begin. you'd like to inherit. It will receive some new power. Girls, let us begin. Change your mind? Done already? What? It is time, inmate. We've arrived! I'll just add this. Let's get back to... Well then. 
Yep, yep. Indeed. Reveal your true form. to play. Just like I thought. All right. That was an easy win. Let's go, Joker.
but don't let your guard down. The store is locked. I'll reveal your true form. Bring grace to this battle. <laughs> the sharper the thorn! Beauty is deadly! <laughs> Unworthy of my blade. <laughs> Now let's keep going. Your true form. Initiative is ours. Persona! There! Now let's keep going.
Joker. Um. Reveal your true form. Victory. Yawning.
door's locked from the other side. Joker. I can see it. It's somewhere. True form.
way. <laughs> I have something. Show me your true form. That must be the table. Right. Why don't we have a seat at the table next to it and wait for him? I... Wouldn't it be odd with just one girl sitting there, though? Does someone want to come with me? That was my intention from the start. I mean, dude, it's a restaurant. What are you, a preschooler? <sighs> I was wondering why you were so excited about this. <sighs> Why isn't anyone asking me to do this? All right, we're going in. Everyone else stay nearby. I'll give the signal when the time is right. Man, what should I eat? You can't get full off of food in a palace. He's as dumb as ever. Uh, I can't read this. I'll have the sautéed foie gras, a salad garnished with truffles, and roasted lamb, please. I can't believe you can order so easily like that. 
Say, ain't we kind of young compared to the others here? They're all involved with Shido, yeah? They seem to be major figures in the political and financial worlds. On whose permission are you sitting there, brats? Whose? Uh, I don't see any reserved sides or nothing here. It'd be a nuisance if you'd make a racket next to my table. I wish to dine leisurely. Children like you who are simply hungry should leave. What was that? Skull, be quiet. <sighs> Sorry. I apologize for our discourtesy. If you understand, then go home. Excuse me, but might you be Mr. Oe? Indeed I am. This will be an impudent request, but would you provide us a letter of introduction to Mr. Shido? From the looks of it, you appear to be minors. Why do you need an introduction? We wish to be granted an audience with him. His political ideology resonates so much with us. Of course, the same can be said about you, Mr. Oe. You have quite the silver tongue for one so young. Not that I mind it. Are you a high school student? Yes, sir. Speaking of high schools, I've heard that some principal somewhere kicked the bucket. He supposedly tried to leak Mr. Shido's name. <sighs> Had he simply obeyed, he could have remained in the upper echelons. To think he would cast all that away. An elite such as myself can't even fathom why someone would do such a thing. If you pledge your loyalty, you're given the honor of selecting those who would have mental shutdowns. Did you ask Mr. Shido to trigger a mental shutdown in someone as well? Hmm? Ah, more or less. Considering your caliber, I would assume that the target must have been someone quite important. <laughs> important? No. The target himself was nothing that impressive. Oh. You must be being modest. You recall the subway accident early last spring? The one I had targeted was that engineer. That was you? It was to take out the president of some company and a diplomat who sided with current government. I see. That was very useful, Mr. Owe. Hmm? Actually, my sister is a prosecutor at the public prosecutor's office. I could pass on what you just said to her. How about it? Won't you give us a letter of introduction? Is that a threat? Who are you two? The letter of introduction, please. Don't get cocky, brats. I'll never give you one. Looks like you have one, though. Well, guess it's time to use brute force. Guys! Go down!
out this new skill. All right, we got a letter of introduction. Please keep the truth of that subway accident a secret. Fine. In any case, it turns out Principal Kobayakawa was connected to Shido after all. No wonder he was so adamant about me digging up information on the Phantom Thieves. Still, I can't believe Shido just killed him so nonchalantly. The entire nation is underwater in his palace. He must feel nothing toward one measly educator. In any case, even though that politician was cognitive, he turned into a monster. Up until Kaneshiro's palace, cognitive beings were nothing more than weak presences. No. That Oe fellow just now wasn't a cognition. Hm? But he had the memories and appearance of an actual person. He was probably a shadow fused with a cognition. It's like making the shadow wear human skin. I've never seen anything like that before. Such power is normally impossible. Wasn't Shido the one who destroyed the research done by Oracle's mother on cognition? Oh, do you think that when he did, he took the results for his own purposes? Shido. For all we know, Shido could have some hidden trick that allows him to tamper with his own palace. We need to be especially careful from here on out. Yes, of course. I will continue accepting them, even after I am inaugurated as Prime Minister. <laughs> as expected from you, Mr. Shido. You are truly a reliable man. And in return, I only ask for your continued support. Standing up to the world does require money. Of course. I'll make sure to prepare compensation as thanks for your help in cleaning up. The incident with that accident in spring was very beneficial. This is all thanks to you, sir. If the study of cognitive science progresses, I believe it's possible to increase the target range. <laughs> I bid you good luck with that endeavor. I hope you will continue to assist us. <laughs> world is weak here. There may be... Hmm. I'll just add this.
sec, you guys. turn back when we leave the affected range. It's not really a big deal. <laughs> it most certainly is a big deal. Explain what just happened to us. It seems like people who Shido views as intruders turn into mice near those Shido statues. Oh, so we're nothing but rodents to him, huh? That's irritating. I agree. Uh, we need to be extra careful when we're in mouse form. We won't be able to open doors, and any enemy we try to fight in that state will beat us to a pulp. So all we can do is hide? I guess we'll have to change to a completely defensive strategy. I hope we can find a secret passage to get through there.
It just hit me. That's something important. Focus. Indeed. I'll reveal your true form. Victory is ours. You've got a new mask, Joker. All right. See it. A chest. I'll reveal your true form. Let's go. This. There. Everyone. All right. I have something. True form. Got the advantage. Persona. Don't rush this. Go down. You oppose that. Your hand will be defeated. Go get him, Queen. Oscar. You have to get a shadow. Good stuff. What are you doing to me? Indeed. Joker? 
Okay. Somewhere. That's a will seed, ain't it? <laughs> We're doing... <laughs> One of Shido's will seeds, huh? Nice. Let's find the rest of them. if we can open it from the other side. Taking over. One time left. Treasure chest. Let's open it. Oh, excellent. It's a treasure chest.
つ。I should write something. Dude, you got a sec? Hmm. Uh, nice day today, huh? Actually, maybe not. <sighs> it's your turn, Panther. What? Um, hello there. We really would like to speak with you. We won't take much of your time. Will you listen? Please, sir. Sorry, but please leave me be. I don't have time for you rowdy children. Hey, you little... No, we apologize for our lack of manners. Come on, Skull. We should leave. What the hell's up with that guy? Did he really have to be acting all high and mighty like that? To be fair, you walked up to him and said, Hey, dude, you need to approach this with more tact. Starting the conversation with a quarrel won't get us anywhere. Our approach doesn't matter if you won't listen to us. What are we supposed to do? Let's speak to the people around here. Perhaps we'll learn more about that man's temperament. At the very least, we might get some kind of hint. I guess that'd be better than nothing. Well, asking for info it is. Okay, let's go. Reveal your true form. I've got the advantage. Don't rush this. Ooh, Joker! You're looking cool! Don't resist! Fine. Oh, cute! It's happy! Have some fun when you talk to that one.
Ready? Let's go! Let's go! Let's hurry ahead.
you did it, Joker! We do seem to be inside that door we saw earlier, but why? And more importantly, isn't this a fitting room? Just trust me. Wait here and I'll be right back. What's he up to? Oh, I have a really bad feeling about this. It's perfect. <laughs> Skull. Actually, it's creepy. Oh, don't worry about that. Come on, let's head back to where that former uh, noble dude is. Hey, it's you girls' time to shine. I didn't think that we were really going with such a simple plan. Well, there's no way guys lounging by the pool would not check out girls in swimsuits. I want to go home. Are we really going to do this? This is for our plan, huh? If you guys don't hurry, he's gonna go off somewhere. It's a nice day, isn't it? What do you want? Um, would you grant us a letter of introduction to Mr. Shido? A letter of introduction, you say? <laughs> I would never give one to some nobodies like yourselves. A nobody? I've made my decision to only introduce those with a prestigious lineage. No matter how beautiful you girls may look on the outside, your ancestry cannot be changed. Yes, that may be true, but... well... We're... I'm quite charmed to meet you, sir. My name is Arn Windsor. Arn Windsor? My father is the descendant of British royalty. I beg your pardon? Seriously? These girls are the daughters of my retainers. Oh, yes. Lady On treats us quite well. Ah, are you half British, Anshan? I am. Your features are definitely different from Japanese girls. One can easily tell at a glance. <laughs> People tend to have such misconceptions, but that isn't true. My hobbies include tea ceremonies. Then again, my father forced me to learn that art. I see. I sense a noble aura that is different from your servants. Servants? Lineage is absolute. No matter how much effort a commoner exerts, <laughs> it is a gap that cannot be filled. You're absolutely correct. I do feel a little sorry for these girls. For real? By the by, about the letter of introduction. If you'd be so generous to grant me one, I'll consider introducing you to my father. Oh, hey. Consider it my way of sending my regards to him. Thank you kindly. But goodness, do you look great in that swimsuit. And such an amazing body as well. You look like you could be a model. Oh, no. Did you make sure to put on sunscreen? Hey, um... As members of prestigious family lines, why don't we get on more intimate terms? Excuse me? Come now, you peasant servants should take off. <laughs> You're making her embarrassed. Would you kindly stop this? Want to try on some other swimsuits in my room? Uh, don't touch me, you perv! No. Oh. Huh? Now that I'm done using you, get away, you creep! This guy's a molester! What the? How dare you set me up like this? Uh, it's your fault for falling for such bad acting. Oh, shut up. We're doing this. Persona! Rabbit!
got the letter of introduction. Only three more left! Were you asking Shido for mental shutdowns too? Contrary to past methods, gaining wealth by lineage alone is quite difficult these days. That's why I begged to be allowed onto Lord Shido's ship. In return for introducing wealthy nobles to him, I requested he enact mental shutdowns for me. I see. So this system of introductions is taking place in reality as well. Lord Shido is extremely cautious about the passengers he chooses. So he's screening potential associates to find wealthy people who won't betray him. And that's why the passengers are wearing masks. He isn't deceived by people's outward appearances. In any case, On, your acting skills have developed quite strongly since our nude incident. Bringing that up! Just for clarification, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? Good heavens, no. Everything is as written in the reports. I hope you remember the conditions for our arrangement. Support me as best you can, understood? Of course. After all, I am thankful for your aid, Mr. Shido. I'll call in some favors from some old acquaintances and take part in the birth of Prime Minister Shido. I'll have you step down if I catch wind of any slack on your end. Are we clear? <laughs> Crystal, I'd rather not meet the same fate as those I've eliminated thus far. <laughs> Good. Nice! Um... Indeed.
safe room. Let's do it. <laughs> 